Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP, and all that and all of that, man. So, man, where do we start? Oh, this week, week 25 of the calendar year, week in battle rap. Whew, it's been so much. So I just say, you know what? Probably Sundays, Mondays, I'll come through. I'll just give you everything in one and just throw all of the information out there and uh you know you can consume it as it's consumed um you see there's starting to be major publications like uh the BET awards and you got Joe Button podcast or still they's talking about the easy situation or whatever it may be whatever it may not be it's, it's so tiring now uh I'm not trying to that's why I don't do 15 16 different vlogs over and over and over when nothing has changed since the last time we spoke, uh, you know, Joe Budden podcast basically like they wasn't really feeling the situation because like how I felt in the beginning, how did we even come here? How did we get here? But there's a lot of other things going on in battle rap. And I know, I know whenever it's some bullshit or whenever, you know, some drama happens, it's, it's very consumable because it's real easy content to make. No pun intended, like seriously, <laughs> like seriously. It's really con it's content that doesn't take much time to make. You can just turn your camera and go boom, boom, boom. But there are some things going on in battle rap, actually. You know what I'm saying? Some actual battle rap stuff that have to do with battles. Because, uh, you know, I like to... That's why I was talking about the battle from last week between uh, the Battle Academy joint with Top Floor, Lou and Danny Myers. I felt like people should have saw that. Ain't nothing new. I've been fucking robbing. Paula Patton, I will oh, take the shit. bar guy. Yeah, Come yeah. on, Lou. Yeah. I will take the, Come on. I will take what? the bar guy on a car ride from uh -huh. Northside. Hogtied and then drag you from Broad and Gerard to Parkside. What? Yeah. 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 No. Bitch, I swear. If I get jumped from top floor, it's gonna be suicide. Rugas fly. Hit his spine. When it's still flare, he vegetable. We saw him pose on top floor like he wheelchair accessible. <laughs> Look at that shit. People should have saw that. Uh, there's another battle that they dropped with Steel and Rosenberg Raw. Go watch Steel versus Rosenberg Raw. I had to do my time, and y'all know how I did my time? By myself. Your biggest battle, Charlie Clips. My biggest battle, the Common Raw. How many lifers you know? I know too many. And it's a long list, and they all trying to find their way back. You know how much money it costs to fight a will? A fortune. All because they ain't want to see that. Got 50,000! Got 50,000! What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? 50 that! Go get your man on! The battle rap that I know. That's the streets. That's the way that I remember things being where your crowd is getting he heckled and then and, uh, bah, 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 you didn't want to bet that money, you should have bet that money. Like that's the battle rap that I know, you know what I mean? Or that I grew up to, or that I was watching from the DVD era when niggas used to talk that shit, get in each other's face, and they used to get a little heated. I liked the battle a lot. Rosenberg did slip, choke, and still was wild for the streets. I mean, I, I felt like it was a very good performance. I heard Gishi Gotti News is coming out too. And salute to Battle Academy and everything that they do. They put out two good battles last week, and I think that that should be spoken about. Another good battle. <laughs> Appa versus Rum Nitty. Yo, if you ain't see this battle, if you did not see Appa versus Rum Nitty, we will be breaking it down. We will do bar for bar recap, because I saw a lot of people tagging me. Like, it was tag, tag, tag. I seen people under my comments, and I, and, that, and I appreciate that, because I don't know, see, and be around every single battle. So when certain battles come out, if I miss it, if you know it's fire, if you want me to see it or hear about it, make sure you hit me up on Twitter or write in my YouTube comments or Instagram, wherever. Push that battle because when I went and watched it, I said, yo, I ain't, just go watch. Just go watch, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I will say that, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that's a dope joint. Like that is phenomenal. Peep that. Uh, some battles that got announced. Uh, looks like Mike P and Jack Boy Maine, uh, Nun Nun and Real Deal. And you know what I'm saying? They're, they're starting to roll out 
some of the born legacy joints. I think those are some cool battles, you know what I'm saying? Like and it's not like Mike P, I haven't seen Mike P from his level come down and battle somebody that's like where Jack Boy is at right now. But both are talented MCs. I'm not gonna take nothing from either party. So uh we'll we'll let that rock. I mean it is what it is. Um you know, Kayshawn continues to be in the talk. Kayshawn's the talk of the time. Everybody talking about him, about his URL status, about uh, what's going on with him, contract. You know, Chris and Bias dropped an interesting blog. You should maybe get a chance to check that out, where he broke it down and basically it was like Kayshawn was signed to a contract that paid you up front for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like a damn home loan. Like he was paid out. And if he's, if he's been paid and all the battles haven't been done and the league is feeling like you owe us this, of course they're going to be in a position to not let you do it, you know what I'm saying? And then the thing is, even if you do them, they know you're going to go somewhere else, so it's hard to see if they're going to pay you or give you more money. That whole shine shit is an ugly situation. Listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. This nigga ain't got no sense. So if you're taking one side of the story and you ain't heard the other side, when the other side comes out and lets you know, like, okay, how would you feel if you paid somebody to do X, Y, and Z, then they didn't do X, Y, and Z because of whatever reasons. Now that you want them to do it, but then they want to get paid to do it again, I don't know how I feel, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I would respect that handle, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying? If I know that you can't go left, my defense is going to pressure you to go left, you know what I'm saying? So if you can't if you can't go left, we're going to pressure you that way. You know, no, no, you ain't getting to the right. So I understand that there may be a dog in a fight for both sides, you know what I'm saying? That owing money but we've already paid you, and the battles ain't been done, I see why. Um, Tay Rock versus Av, uh, I see them talking. Uh, this is something that, that was talked about a while ago, like in Vision, like people was talking about, yo, what if Rock battle Av, what if Rock battle Money to the right, I know this man. Ain't that nigga Boy, Fuck is wrong with this? Ain't hey, that hey, nigga poor? He ain't right. shit no fuck. Hey, 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 Et cetera, et cetera. And I didn't think they really had, I knew they would do it, you know what I'm saying? I remember speaking to Av about this a while ago, you know what I'm saying? And I know there's a battle that he actually wants. And I think it would be good as far as like for Tay Rock, like to have a battle with a theme. Cause just look at who he's been battling recently. And no not, you know what I'm saying? I ain't disrespecting nobody's shot. But you got Kid Slade, Stumbles, Swervo, Ryder, uh, he was like, so like, this is what I'm saying. Av, Av and Rock make sense now. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing about Rock. It's just the level, like, he's been battling just every kind of card back to back to back to back. And it's like, yo, if we want to see him in a battle that has a storyline, these niggas both are gritty. They both could punch. Rock's got the AMG flow. You know, Av's got his type of flows too. Uh, go, if it was to happen, uh, big stage rock would probably have the advantage, but Av could get crazy too. I've seen Av get crazy on certain big stages before. Him versus Real Stick was on a bigger stage not too long ago, and that would be something that I would want to see. Uh, I heard I've been hearing more rumors about Verb versus Swamp, and you know, normally I can kind of gauge if a battle is booked already, or I can, you know, saying so you hear from behind the scenes and shit like that. I don't think this battle is still booked yet, but it needs to be. Swamp and Verb need to battle like yesterday. Like I'm getting tired of like everything that they be doing. Like every, it's like come on, like these niggas need to be on the card. They need to be on the card like yesterday. You know, like like this should be happening. Like <laughs> make it happen. We we just want to see it. Like let's get it over with. I don't have no winner, but uh, the promotions drag drug on, and both of these guys they should be paid. They should definitely be paid and just let this shit happen. Uh, I seen somebody say elaborate a little bit more on Easy versus Geechee. It's a battle that I heard. It is a battle that I heard this book and supposed to be happening soon. The rumors have been out there, so I got no problem speaking on it. You know what I'm saying? If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Uh, that that I know when I was told it was supposed to happen. If it happens, then that tells me a lot. If it doesn't happen, it also tells me a lot because of everything that's going on. Before when I used to hear and 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 I think that it was probably strategically put out there for people to know because 
when Chrome wants to not let you know a battle, shit, nobody knew about Hitman versus Easy. That shit, I mean, about Hitman versus Easy. That shit was <laughs> nuclear, kept under wraps. So if they want to be able to keep a battle under wraps, um, they can. Yeah, you know, you like when you have a situation like that, they can keep battles under wraps. They've kept battles under wraps before, and I believe that they can do it again. So that's one. Then you got Big K versus T Rex. GTX is picking up uh, their steam of their card, the GTX, and everything that they got going on. Diz and everybody over there. And GTX, you know what I'm saying? They they they, they putting their card together and it's looking pretty well. I'm not gonna add lie. I'm pulling it up right now. Uh, you got DNA and Charlie Clips versus Dumbfired, Dumbfounded, and Satire. I think that'll be a dope battle. Hollow versus Thesaurus. You got A Ward versus Frack. You got Big K versus T Rex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. Okay, we back, man. I don't even know where I was at in the last joint, but we just gonna keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? You got to get busy. You got kids. We keeping it moving. So, uh, uh, the BET Awards took place last night. Also, uh, I seen Lil Uzi and JT. JT throws the phone at him. But see, the thing is, Lil, Lil Uzi, you got a KYB. You got to know your bitch. You got to know who you with and know what they're capable of. You know what I'm saying? Everybody should know the level that they girl is willing to take you to. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta know this is a bitch that I can't really take out in public like that. She done been to jail. She looked like she fight pit bulls with her bare hands. And she you know what I'm saying? Got in Nibu. See how I And she from Miami. You gotta know who you can't take out in public. So for, for this one, you get hit with the phone, and phones is tough too. You get hit with a phone, phones is really crazy. So you get hit with a phone, it's kinda nasty work. But I kind of blame you because you should have known who you was with. You know what I'm saying? When that phone was coming in, because you took the picture. But see, the thing is, you got a dark skin joint. When you take a picture with a light skin joint, it just triggers. They sp like they spider senses start going crazy. They think that you're trying to flip the script or jump the shit. She went ballistic. And then when she threw that phone at you, I heard you say, I ain't even do nothing. So you think you didn't do nothing. But what you did is you posted a picture or the picture with the light skin joint. They not going for that. So you should have known that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I hope all is well, but you got you to gotta watch your hand a little bit more. KYB, know your bitch, know what they're capable of. I'm telling you, there's people that's in these comments that will watch this video that agree with me. You got to know if you're dealing with Shorty, she's liable to tweet, she's liable to flip out, and I might not want to take no pictures tonight. That's what she shouldn't have did. Uh, Remy Ma and Papoose was on the red carpet together. Look like, you know, they, they doing what they doing and all is moving on. Which is the reason why, when I heard you niggas, oh, Vada ain't talk about this, oh, boo -boo -boo, and I talked about their situation three different times, this whole hyperbole of what happened. I, but there were some people who weren't, pick, who weren't picking up what I was putting down. They wanted me to just jump into someone's personal life, into someone's marriage, into this, that, and the third, and because I wouldn't do it, you know what I'm saying? All the way, I wouldn't jump all the way, niggas felt, oh, you mother with I don't give a fuck about how you niggas feel personally because this is my channel. And the funny thing is, niggas will come to your channel, watch your channel, watch the whole video, and tell you why you wrong when you sat there. Nigga, you're buggy. That's, that's bugged out. Sitting there and watching somebody, knowing you don't agree, and watch the whole video, and then come back and watch the next one. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. What the hell? <laughs> Bro, y'all niggas be tripping. But that's why I say for a fact, do not to conclusions when it comes to people's marriages and the people's situations. I just seen people go through all type of shit and they pop right back up and they still remain together. You know what I'm saying? Because you niggas be thinking for the internet that we supposed to be uh, breaking everything down and telling you what happened when still to this day, there isn't a single person, especially YouTube. There's not a single nigga on YouTube who's got a video up explaining what everything happened from A to B to C to D. Because guess what? You wasn't there. So I know that the money be good to make, you know what I'm saying? Everybody cut their camera on, talk their shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and get their dollars. The money be cool to make. It's, it's good money out there. I ain't going front. There is some good money out there. But at the same time, I do feel like when it comes to certain shit, especially like this, when it's dealing with businesses, you're dealing with all type of entities, I chose to remain the way I was, you know what I'm saying? And then you see them pop up on the red carpet together. The niggas who was talking all that shit, trying to down them and act like they knew every fucking thing, are they going to jump out there and be like, yo, I seen them on the red carpet yesterday. Everything looks like it's going to be all right. You know, there hasn't been a public statement released, but they are together. No, they're not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? You know why? Because it doesn't fit into jumping into somebody else's life and pretending like we know all when we fucking don't. 
So that's that. Uh, hopefully this week we get some more battle rap related shit, some more battle rap so we can talk about bars and battles. Uh, I did mention Your Honor versus Stumbles. That's one of the best one round battles of 2023. Watch Your Honor versus Stumbles. I'm not really a fan of one round battles, but I did see it and I did watch it and I did rock with the battle. But uh, other than that, man, just want to bring you all of the mess, everything from last week. We put all of this shit in one pot and then we just let it go and then hopefully this week leads to <laughs> a better week, especially in battle rap, man, because you never know what you're going to get. This shit gets a little crazy. But uh, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang for continuing to watch, subscribe, and rock with this content. Gang, gang. And then there's another couple subjects that could have been blogs. See, I thought about them, but I didn't do it. But when you think about it, I thought about it. So when I thought about doing the blogs, I didn't do them. So now you get my thoughts, right? You understand? So y'all seen Buddy in Chicago. Uh, his mom instructed him like a 14-year-old to shoot this dude. Uh, the dude was silly. Like, rest in peace to whoever he is, you know what I'm saying? But you did some fuck shit before you went out of here. Like, you literally balled up your fist as a grown man to hit a woman who was like this before you did it. Then she instructed her son to come in there and, and burn you down. And the last thing your family, your friends, your community, everybody that you know is going to remember you assaulting a woman before her son clipped you. I hope they get free, honestly, because if you put me in that position and I'm seeing a man assault my wife, and I got that hammer on me, you are going upstairs. You're going to wake up at a Tupac concert. And I ain't mad at you. Only God could judge me. You are gone. Like, what was you thinking? And you know them staying in, 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 in Chicago and in Milwaukee and like in the Bronx and Philly and a lot of Detroit, a lot of these cities, these kids is running around 13, 14, tooled up, tooled up. You don't think they run around with that thing on them? Man, listen, you a damn fool to have even thought that that was a possibility that you was going to get away with that. You know, yeah, you, you should have thought past that. You got to think it through. Where I'm from, there's a term called think it through. You got to think it through, my dude. Now you dead. Your family going to have to put together the money, have a fish fry and get everybody together because you got your dumb ass killed for hitting a woman and her son smoked you. And he's just a juvenile. So even if he did, he's going to be a juvenile anyway. He's going to beat that anyway. But it shouldn't be happening like that. Y'all got to be smart out here in the world. Like, I, I can't even believe you let someone trick you. Or you. He tricked you into, you tricked yourself into a coffin. And now you dead. Whole life gone for no reason. But the way you hit that woman, it kind of made me feel like that wasn't your first time doing it. Like, you, you, you was like, really like balled up, like a lot of aggression to hit that woman. And you got yourself, you got yourself taken out of here. Uh, another thing was uh, I saw Goods Shout out to Goods and everything he's got going on He was saying he wasn't a blogger You know he's like oh you know It's funny like it's cool when they do it It's a problem when they do it Like y'all doing the same thing Like, And there's no knock on the battle rap the, Like the battle rappers that have been blogging And that will blog I feel like it's very essential And I feel like it's necessary Because they provide uh, A look at battle rap That nobody who's just doing media has You've been in battles before. You know what it's like. You know what the artists go through. You know what contracts are like. You know league issues. You know scheduling problems. You know battles being rebooked. You know what it's like when people choke on stage. Preparation, memory. Y'all got such an insight. So when I see like the goods and the verb and DNA and everybody doing their blog, then there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Because they could provide insight. You know, they know the battles that work well versus the battles that don't. So I don't see nothing wrong with that. But goods, you're a blogger. There's nothing wrong with it, man. You're doing good. I see you doing, you're doing good in life. You know, you got a nice whip. I'm sure your crib is together. You're doing everything that you got going on. And I'm pretty sure you're getting some change from blogging. I don't know what you call it. What you call it? A, a fucking uh, <laughs> street analytics? What are you doing? What do you, what do you call what you're doing <laughs> if it's not a blog? What are you doing? Street <laughs> street analytics? The, the cover of the battle rap from a digital perspective? But it's not a blog. Nigga, you're a blogger. Nigga, accept it. You're a blogger. You're a good one, too, man. I must say. 
Even the comments say you're a blogger. Nigga, you're blogging. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? You made blogging. You, you what you said? I make that sweat look. You make that blogging look good. Remember the Burberry shit, man? I want to see goods back in the ring, too, man. But these are a couple thoughts that I had put together that I definitely wanted to throw in here, too. I'll probably start doing it like about once a week. Hopefully, I can keep up with it. Just at the end of the week, just give all the thoughts from the last week. You know what I'm saying? I know last week in Battle Rap <sighs> got consumed by one story so it was kind of hard to put <laughs> put everything together but uh you know hopefully the game continues to grow and trend because you know a lot of people need these looks bags and bodies is getting started again hopefully you know if they do it again this time it kind of stays on the timeline because i was i was in tune with it when it first started you know what i'm saying i seen like the first episode or two and then it was like a long break that people didn't know who won. Then I heard somebody won. Then I said something. And it was like, oh, no, you got to take the blog down. You announced too much. I just left it alone. I'm not going to lie. I just, left. I just left it alone. I was like, this is too much. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see the battles. I just want to see the show. I don't have time to like, you know, you got to keep this secret. But then the world don't know. Then the world do know. And then this person didn't do it. I'm like, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Especially for some battle rappers. A few of them that I never heard of before. I'm like, I ain't doing all this. So hopefully, if it comes around this time, uh, it stays through and it stays on course because I know Hitman wants to do things for the battle community and he's doing good things by even putting this together. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it'll be what it is. But other than that, you know, let's get right back to it, gang. Yeah, yeah, man. Follow me on the motherfucking gram. You know my shit on fire, son. Y'all niggas playing, man. Follow a nigga, man. What up? Gang, gang.